we're at the second location and location and Cajun. <laughs> the location and guess who's here with to join us the quesabilia yeah look at <laughs> yeah. that look at that yeah. carnitas the then we have a carnitas and a quesabilia as you guys know we love the quesabilia it's from presentation alone looks looks good looks yeah. legit yeah you know what's interesting mm. look at my carnitas look at all the onions on top and look at yours mm. there's nothing oh what the hell that's, that's yeah. weird yeah they probably just forgot <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know if you guys can see there you go you see all the onions yeah and my carnitas and then his has none yeah <laughs> Like, hey, I love onions though. <laughs> hey, oh, you want to switch? Yeah, actually. Yeah, let's switch. I love I'm onions. I'm a big onions guy. Yeah. Right? Hey, got it. Got it. Oh, it's like we're oh, <laughs> adding each other lenses, huh? <laughs> <laughs> On the job. Got it. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> Don't want to drop this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay, show them the salsitas that we got. Yeah, so we got two red, two reds. I think they're different, actually. Obviously, I'm covering all my fingers so you can't even see. Yeah. I feel like they are different. They look, they look a little different. You go, know, there's one right there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. There's another. I feel like this one's a little lighter. Huh. Could be the same. Could but, be the same, yeah. yeah. And then we got your usual chile verde, green salsa. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And then, yeah, that's it. And they also get it was uh, grilled onions and grilled jalapeno on it. Yeah. With Which, some, of course, I'm not going to eat. I'm not an onions guy. Oh, you got to at least bite the jalapeno once. Yeah, this guy's going to yeah. kill it. Look at this peer pressure. Don't give him the peer yeah, pressure, kids. Yeah, give into it. Oh, and consomme. Don't yeah. forget the consomme. Resist peer pressure. <laughs> Just be yourself. That's what cool is. <laughs> no, it's not. There's <laughs> well, such a thing as really being cool. I'm going to with the green salsa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there you uh, go. What are you going to go for first? Just the carnitas, no? Yeah, because I feel like the video will keep anyway, right? Yeah, or should we do birria because it's because it's crispy. This is hot and the soup and everything. Yeah. All right, we'll do birria. There you go. I just gave into peer pressure. And I'm full of it. I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> this is good peer pressure, bro. Come uh... on. <laughs> I'll add some limoncito to my quesadilla and to the soup consomme. Man, I can't forget the salsita roja and the consomme. Well, I gotta put some lime, some limon. What happened to taking it, but eating it without anything? No, yeah. that's like man. I always put the lime. Mm -hmm. I just don't add the salsa first. Mmm, nice and spicy. Okay. Chevre. What does that mean, chevre? Kind of like cool. Mm, provecho. Provecho, yeah. Provecho, viejo. Mm. Manos a la obra. A la obra means now, right? Manos a la obra, I mean, like, time to work. But ahora means now. Ahora, it? yeah. yeah. Learned that from watching Narcos. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm oh. cultured. Mm. I mean, what's there to say? It's a birria taco, folks. <laughs> <laughs> birria tacos are awesome. Yes, a birria taco. Uh -huh. Yeah, after a while, they all start blending in together, yeah. huh? Yeah. That's similarities. Let me try the consomme on its own. Well, this is definitely not as crispy, though. Could, That's true. I can tell That's you a that. Good point. Yeah, it's not as crispy. The flavor is there. Mm, the consomme I really did. Yeah, the consomme is delicious. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess it's um, considering it's fried, the tortilla is definitely a, on a rubbery side. Right? You would expect it to be a little bit crispier than it is. It, yeah, it's less crispy, but I don't mind it though. I like I like it like that too. But I do wish it was a little crispier though. Cause we had some really crispy ones and. That adds a nice oh, yeah. next level. It's, um, the texture adds to it too when you bite into it mm -hmm. and you got a little bit of crisp. Yeah, consomme is on top for sure. It's legit. Perfect amount of salt, flavors there. All the condiments are already there yeah, too. Yeah, I give the consomme on, on its own a five. Mm -hmm. As a whole, the, the, the I guess the birria is a four. Mm -hmm. Question is, is this guy gonna kill the consomme? <laughs> I have a feeling he will. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> mm, so good. So, so good. That's not a bad way to start the week, folks. <laughs> this is why we're happy during the week. <laughs> this particular reason. <laughs> Went to a different town. 
try new tacos, new people. If you could have just one type of taco every day, what would it be? Mm. I'd probably go for shrimp. Mm, <laughs> you and your seafood. I huh? just can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say kind of would be second, mm. second place. Yeah, I would say it definitely wouldn't be a quesadilla. Mm -hmm. like it's too much every oh, day. Oh yeah, way too much. You go with something simpler. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's hard to go with a really good fish or shrimp taco. Man, it's hard to beat that. It's, no, it's like it, like particular the lengua and cabeza too. Mm, yeah, it was a part too. That's because they're lighter, you know? Like, you eat a, a shrimp or fish, you won't be like overwhelmed. The consomme, definitely a five for me. Yep. Yeah, it's up there. Honestly, the consomme and the quesibiria is a meal on its own. Yeah. I'd say both of them together, for sure, for sure I'm gonna give it a four for the consomme. Mm. Four out of five. Especially if you killed the consomme, that's a, that's a good meal already. But of course, we're gonna have three more tacos today. <laughs> three more? Oh yeah, so yeah, this is that. only the second spot. Yeah. Maybe we need to start with the carnitas. All right, let's do the carnitas. Yeah. Before. Getting full. <laughs> Damn. All right, carnitas, uh, double white corn tortillas, cebolla cilantro, and of course. Well, I'm his not. has cebolla. Uh -huh. Mine does not. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a little weird. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what happened there. They're just like we ran out. Sorry. <laughs> too bad I mean, they just straight up forgot it'll be in the review <laughs> yeah it's a little weird because consistency is one thing we always look at folks <laughs> yeah. so i think cebolla definitely if you don't have cebolla cilantro it's not a taco anymore let's see what you got carnitas it's okay it's okay folks I'll give it a three. It's amazing how there can be such a huge difference between the Casabiria and the yeah. Carnitas. Eh? <laughs> high, yeah. high expectations for the Carnitas. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a three. Yeah, you're right. You know that green salsa? Is, you know, there, any, is there any left? You, know, you killed it. No, you, you know, it's funny too that we just had Carnitas yesterday too, but from the spot that we always, talk, always tell you about, the Giroi one, mm. like they're specialized in this. And you can definitely tell the difference. Like, their stuff is top notch. Kind of does. Yeah, it's a, this one's a little bit on the chewy side, a little dry, a little dry. Not yeah. much, not much flavor to it. Yeah, it's lacking some flavor, definitely. It's, it's not when you need some. Needs a little bit more love. Mhm. Mm and you know what I noticed too that the ones that really know how to put a, a real good, I'm gonna get a pepper shot. The ones that really know how to make carnitas taco, they add. A little bit of cuerito in there. What's that? The skin of the pork. Mm. The deep fried. Basically cooked with everything else, you know? Adds a really good flavor profile to it. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah, super good. And my mouth is on fire. I'm taking <laughs> a big bite. Oh, the jalapeno. <laughs> All the water, yeah. <laughs> so you don't give in the peer pressure, folks. That's what I wanted to see happen. <laughs> and the consomme also has chunks of meat in there, which I love too. <laughs> mouth is so on fire, folks. <laughs> No one test. He just makes it look so easy biting <laughs> into it, you know? <laughs> Done, so. So good. Oh. For an average person, that would be enough. <laughs> uh, but we're superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> well, not, our, not all heroes wear capes. We eat tacos. So overall, what do you give the place? Uh, all right, overall, I'd say three and a half. Three and a half, right? Yeah. Because the carnitas really just yeah. paled in comparison to the Siberia. Really, if the carnitas was on top, that would have been close, been a to, four. A, close to a five. Four actually. to 4.5. Yeah. Oh. Thinking. Hey, comment down below what do you recommend when your mouth is on fire? <laughs> Honey. Oh. We did that with, uh, with the one chip challenge. Uh, not consomme. Honey oh. actually helped out a lot. Real quick too. Good spot. Probably gonna let our our digestion start. <laughs> yeah, I gotta let my mouth <laughs> cool off, let that fire. And then we're gonna head out to yeah. their location. All right, folks, it's starting to calm down. <laughs> I know you guys are really concerned. It's, <laughs> it's quite a ride we went on right now, but I'm oh. gonna be okay. Oh yeah, this this place that we're at, it's like what, downtown? Looking, it looks like a little downtown Antioch. Or old downtown anyway. Old downtown, it's super quiet. Literally, there's like, 
three, four people at a time here. All <laughs> like, it's really almost well, nobody here. it is here. quarantine time too, right? Oh, you just, you just animate fire coming out of my mouth. Ah! <laughs> my lips are on fire. <laughs> Her lips are on fire. Hey, these potty lips. Her lips are on fire. Oh. All right, see you guys in the next spot. Ooh.